hey guys it's Gerald again um, yeah I'm gonna talk about my solar panels or my solar setup so like I said this is a fiberglass and when I got when I got this it's, it's, you know I was reading a lot and trying to figure out how to install this because um, my my other van it's just metal and I just drilled through a hole in that one and that was pretty easy but this one I had to read a bunch of stuff and try to figure out how can I install this through my roof so good thing I have a roof rack and I this is one of the strongest point I guess um, so I pretty much did this um, I drilled through a hole here and used this metal thing to like pretty much hold it and and so yeah it's not moving I've, I've driven this so much and so it's not gonna move so I mean if those people are trying to figure out how to install a, a panel through their roof with the fiberglass this and if you have a yeah if you have a roof rack that would help a lot so pretty much did all of that and the same the same in the other side so that's how it works it's right now it's kind of dusty I'm gonna clean this after this video but yeah, it's a 205 uh, watts and it's actually a 24 volt solar panel but since I have a charge controller I don't have I don't even have to do anything with that so yeah I've gotten as much as 9.9 .9 volts an hour or 9.9 .9 amps an hour so this one I kind of taped it so because it was kind of um, you know like you can notice it driving around because it's like black and red but this one it's white so you don't really notice it so let's go down and let's go inside of my van again and talk more and details about my solar setup so let's go back in here oh yeah I forgot to mention on the other videos this is how I fill out my 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 fresh tank it's pretty easy I just either use the hose and yeah it's my this is how I fill it up it's a 20 gallon so I can use a hose through there and I just siphon it through there or I can just manually use this bucket I have and manually just fill up the bucket and manually just put it there um, so yep that's the quick thing about the, oh this so all right let's move on to my um, solar so I have a yeah Costco one um, it's pretty new it's uh, made on uh, May 2014 it's only yeah, a month or two oh let me turn on the lights here so yeah this is my second ancillary battery um, so basically each is 115 amp hour so I have a total of 230 amp an hour and I can only put two here so yeah I'll just put two and oh yeah since it's Costco this battery I don't know if, they, if it's old battery or just certain batteries but this one it's a 30 month warranty it's really hard to find that a lot of places is only you know a 12 month warranty but this is 30 month that's uh, two and a half years so whatever happens to this for within two and a half years you know I can get a new one or ha ha have them fix it basically so for oh yeah um so both of this batteries just the battery i spent because i didn't have any core so i spent 210 dollars which is pretty you know it's 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 pretty decent it's not not expensive at all um so yeah that's i don't know what else i need to talk to you about yeah my, my uh peak um 800 watts um 1600 peak uh yeah 1600 peak but it's 
continually it's only eight, 800 watts um i have with the 800 watts i have my you know tv on my my wii my everything my all three of my fans my my computer my surface uh my phone and yeah that's that thing takes care of it um so my so charge controller right now we're on 14 volts oh crap yeah it's already full since i've got this van i only seen this this is the third time i've seen it full every other time because well i was on vacation i was off so i've used heavily on my solar system and it went as much as like 11.8 volts even though you know i was getting like minimum of 50 amp hour a day minimum i've usually got you know 50 plus to 70 plus amp hour in in a day so right now it's 7.3 um yeah, it's fluctuating 7 7.3 amps right now i'm surprised it's not an 8 it's usually an 8 so 49 amp hour and just a little over an hour i had to reset this i'll i'll get something around 50s um load i don't use the load yeah this one will stop in 14.1 volts and it will load off in 11.5 volts so this is you know it's it's 24 hours it's gonna be charging let's go back again um i forgot to mention this the charge it, it will it's charging at 13.8 volts um sometimes i can go higher i don't know it just depends let's see if i can go higher this time nope that's the highest i, I i've gotten up to 13.9 but when i one day for whatever reason usually even at night it will charge at 0.3 volts i mean 0.3 amp but one day it wasn't charging anything so i've just disconnected here and it reset the the solar the charge controller and after it resets it um the 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 state of charge i just just you know it went back to like 12 point something but you know if you want to charge at 12 volts you have to have a higher voltage than 12 volts like you know 13 14 volts to charge it at 12 volts but yeah uh, what else i have forgotten I think that's pretty much it yeah I've, I've basically got this just for the you know for the warranty and compared to the trojan it's a lot of uh, maintenance with the trojan but you know i got it used and i actually saved more money here even though it's brand new i mean wait yeah i've saved money on this one compared to the used trojan so uh yep i'm very happy about this i've you know when i was off or when i was on vacation i have everything on for i don't know like eight hours at least and it it was it was taking you know it supply it it gives me all my power needs and that's it i'll make more videos about other stuff all right guys thank you bye